This is the fourth video for the 7 2 b lesson. We're going to now look at a quadratic that has shifts in it, which is y equals negative x squared plus 4. And we're going to input some values and sketch this one and see how it compares to the previous one, the parent function. And I'm going to do some work to the side. And I'm going to use parentheses like I did on the first one. And I will include negative 3, even though it's not included here. And I will start with positives, even though in the Desmos when we had negatives first, doesn't really matter where you start. So we'll start with positive two. And since this function has a negative here, it means take the opposite of whatever you get after you square X. So that means that it needs to be written this way. We're gonna see this on several of these problems in the lesson and in the homework. So it's important this first one, you have this setup correct. Once you have this first one, if you feel like you don't need to watch the rest of the video to sketch this out and get the table, by all means, skip to the end of the video. So that means we have negative um, or opposite of two squared is four plus four, which is negative four plus four, which is zero. And we're gonna plug in one, which is take the opposite of one squared Again, it's important you have correct use of parentheses, especially if you're going to type this in a calculator. If you don't have the parentheses correct, it will spit out a different answer. Um, so 1 squared is 1. Take its opposite is negative 1 plus 4 is 3. And we're going to plug in 0. Zero squared is 0. Um, we can ignore that negative, plus 4 is 4. Negative 1. This is sometimes where people get tripped up. So this is negative 1 squared is 1. This negative comes down. So notice again, good use of parentheses, not canceling these because I first have to square this, plus 4. Negative 1 plus 4 is 3. And then we're going to plug in negative 2. Uh, negative 2 squared. Square of the input is positive 4. This negative comes down. Plus 4 is 0. And we'll go now to our table. And I do like to include negative 3 just so I can sketch this. Um, so negative 2 is 0, 3, 4, 3, 0. And then we're going to plug in also negative 3 and 3. So 3 squared is 9, negative 9 plus 4 is negative 5. All right, and we will include now our sketch. might look a little wonky, but you get the idea. And technically, we don't want this to cross the negative 4 or the positive 4 line um, because something tells me that if I plug 4 into this, that it's probably going to go off the graph. So you want to be careful with that because 4 squared is 16. It's going to be negative 16 plus 4 is negative 12 which would be way down there. So it's just important that, especially with a pencil and graph paper, that you include a sketch that doesn't just flare out on the edges. 